Hey guys, how's it going on? Let's go down to adding batch for Ultron app and a dock icon. I mean, like like this one, it's number two, but it's going to be whatever the number you want. And uh, just want to mention that it's available only for Linux and Mac OS, but you can pull it off as well using custom icon, which you can create using Canvas API. Yeah, it's much harder to create, but if you want to now have to do that, just let me know in the comments below. And yeah, let's let's create a new Electron project using Electron Forge, which is like like create React app, but for Electron. Yeah, it creates a simple boilerplate to start coding right away, but it's just for Electron, not for React. Yeah, let's let's create a new project using correct create Electron app. CLI and then let's tape the name of the folder we wanna create. Yeah, we should wait for a few seconds just to install all these packages, dependencies, and you know the drill. And here we go. Let's start our application using yarn start. Yeah, yeah. We should go to the electron batch folder and then yarn start, yeah. It's right. And yeah, here we go. This is our lovely application. Uh, let's go down to the VS Code, not less lovely editor, and open the Electron Batch example folder. And let's let's use let's you know let's set our patch right after our window is created. Let's let's use app and set batch count method and let's set you know 19 it doesn't really matter and yeah we should restart the app just to apply all of the changes and here we go again we have the 19 in account yeah let's make it more interactive just by adding some some interactivity we're going to show how much time user was idle and let's go to the editor and create an interval. And the function is going to be invoked every second. And it's going to set our counter, our batch counter. To get idle time, we're gonna use power monitor method, which is called like get system idle time, and it gives us idle time in seconds. And we need to restart the app and then it's going to work. The changes should be applied. Let's start it over. And here you go. The idle counter is works. And if I move my mouse, it's going to reset the counter. Yeah, it is. I think that's it. Have a great day and see you in the next one.